Thank you all for coming. A uh, special evening for us, and a, certainly a full house. Um, kind of cozy, isn't it? Uh, a few more people than we've ever had here for anything, so I'm glad to see the interest in this topic and see all of you here. Uh, I'm John Crandall, and uh, this is my business location. I know most of you have made it in here one time or another. <laughs> Um, my introductory remarks will be relatively brief, and I'm going to start off with uh, just a couple comments. I've heard uh, both of us and Phil speak before. They're good speakers. They're quality people. They've paid their dues. Um, it will be an educational evening, and that was the intent, and that's what we will get. And the objective is partly personal to overcome my frustration having sat on the City Island Gas Committee during the spring and not being able to be heard because I was an alternate. Uh, so we're kind of doing this now. Uh, also in the room there are four people who joined me, were there for almost every one of those meetings, and I would like to introduce them, and they refused to let me use the word expert, but they are people with a great amount of knowledge on this issue in general, on the legal ramifications of the issue, and how it relates to this community. And I will start in the back corner with Jane Ard Smith, if you would raise your hand. Um, Mary Talbot, right in front of me. Uh, Steve Harris, way on the back wall. And Jim Lockhart, I didn't see where Jim Jim, also by Jane. Now, I bring up their names because there will be certainly a limited time, although some time for questions for Wes and Phil. But uh, the four of them have agreed to first be identified and, and then answer questions. They are really knowledgeable people. And they've been through the whole process, uh, as I have, and often share the same frustrations. So welcome here this evening for that. Um, one thing I would like to do is read a poem that I did not write. Uh, it comes from the book, Mid-Course Correction, uh, Ray Anderson's book. And a guy named Glenn Thomas heard Ray speak and then wrote this poem. And to me, it is a model that I've tried to use for this business ever since I first heard it a decade ago. The title is Tomorrow's Child. Tomorrow's Child. Without a name, an unseen face, and knowing not your time nor place, tomorrow's child, though yet unborn, I met you first last Tuesday morn. A wise friend introduced us to, and through his shining point of view, I saw a day that you would see, a day for you, but not for me. Knowing you has changed my thinking, for I never had an inkling that perhaps the things I do might someday somehow threaten you. Tomorrow's child, my daughter, son, I'm afraid I've just begun to think of you and of your good, though always having known I should. Begin, I will, to weigh the cost of what I squander, what is lost, if ever I forget that you will someday have to live here too. Thank you. I would now, I have the pleasure of introducing chief troublemaker for this evening. I'm. I'm only a, a poor assistant. Uh, Laura Biederman uh, came to me a while back and was planning on having a get-together like this with our two wonderful speakers, and the venue she was planning on uh, then didn't allow this to happen, so she said, uh, could we do this? And I said, we can do 100 people. Uh, more than that's a stretch. We have 150, roughly, so we're pushing a little bit, but it's thrilling to have this many. I apologize to those who are not here uh, with Dave filming this because we had to turn people away because of the capacity of the building. But anyway, to see what a really serious troublemaker looks like, here's Laurel.
thank you. <laughs> um, well, oops, sorry. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out tonight. We are just thrilled with the turnout and with the interest in this subject, and it's so exciting to see so many interested uh, people in hearing what Wes and Phil have to say. When you leave tonight, you're going to have more information than you know what to do with, and you're going to be all pumped up, because I certainly was after I heard them. Um, I first wanted to talk about uh, the table of information that's at the back of the room. There are lots of people in this town that are trying to educate and, uh, and talk about this subject and uh, who are doing all sorts of great events. And uh, so if you're interested in any of those groups or any of those events, there's lots of information on the, on the back table if you want more information about uh, specific events for uh, Colorado Springs Citizens for Community Rights Group. Uh, they've got a sign up back there. But there's also things like Western Colorado Col Congress that is still statewide. Um, we've got some, uh, some other group information back there. One of the things I wanted to tell you first off is uh, there's going to be a, a movie, Last Call at the Oasis, um, at the Cinemark Carefree Circle, uh, uh, on Carefree, sorry, Cinemark at Carefree, um, on February 5th. And it's a special showing uh, that Dave Gardner has put together. Um, and we need to sell uh, a whole bunch of tickets before January 25th for it to work, okay? So you need to go look at the sign on the door and, uh, and it'll tell you what to do and what website to go to. Uh, the tickets uh, are $10, right, Dave? They're $10. And uh, we'd love to have you see that, uh, that show because this is an important issue about water and you'll hear all about the water uh, issue when Phil comes to speak. Um, if I could remind you to please save all of your questions until the end of the program. Wes is going to speak, and then Phil is going to speak, and then we'll have questions. And so if you could hold your questions uh, until the end of that uh, presentation, that'll help the evening go a, a little bit uh, more on schedule. Um, so thank you for all coming out, for coming out tonight.